everyone and welcome to mommy mondays my name is asusana gonzalez and i am feeling a little tired <laughs> Ooh, this getting used to not having any caffeine is quite uh interesting but it's all worth it so yeah we're how many days in wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday six day today's the sixth day and yeah, so we shall see how it goes. So that means we have about 35 days left, I think. I don't know. We still got some time left. Which makes sense though. Six times seven is 42. So no. Because I have six weeks left <gasps> till the big day. Well, at least until my estimated due date, which we know is only a number thrown out there. I mean, it has some merits, but I mean, it can come before or after easily. Now, what I wanted to talk about was my, the birthing class and the diaper class we went to. So we went to a birthing class. It was only a three hour one. Um, her name, the name of the instructor is Crystal. She was very lovely, very helpful. There was actually a lot of information I didn't know that I was like, holy moly, like I'm so glad that um, we did this, you know? Cause Victor and I had been watching some stuff online. There's some books that we've been reading. But just being able to have her there with us and like have her go through some of the, the laboring positions was super helpful. I'll do a video all about labor positions and that kind of stuff later on. Um, but this was super helpful. Like I said, and the thing is that she really provided like information as to like how Victor could better. Ow, you scratched my stomach. It's must have been on how how she could be, how Victor could better provide me with support throughout labor and like you know delivery. So um that was super helpful, you know. And I really appreciated that because that's not something that you can get from watching the videos on YouTube, you know what I mean? You listen and they give you good information, but it's not the same, you know, feeling them being there with you and then being like, no, do this, not that, and try this and that kind of stuff. So that was super helpful. She's also a doula, so she um so she's been there with other women, supporting them and that kind of stuff. So that was super helpful as well because I know that she's been in it, right? She she has five children, so she's had the experience, right? But also the experience of assisting other women, right? Anyway, super helpful. The one thing that I was most impacted by was the fact that um um the fact that when you breastfeed you can, you are very likely to still feel contractions and then obviously some pain that is associated with breastfeeding especially during the first couple of weeks um due to the nipple becoming very sensitive and raw because you know it's going through something new aka feeding a baby now not all women experience it but yeah it's definitely a possibility and one that one to always keep in mind you know what i mean it's not always a walk through the park <laughs> Ooh, so yeah that that'll be interesting especially because you know as I've already told you I've experienced some burning on my nipples um, I spoke to my doctor about that she said that it sounds like I'm experiencing um, that the symptom sounds like it's similar to let down which is when your milk is ready to come out right um, I'm not experiencing milk coming out I do leak very very little and it's more mostly like the uh, colostrum colostrum I don't know how to say it, but that thing, right? And the thing is that my body's just preparing itself, you know, doing what it needs to do, doing some test runs. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, that was super interesting. We also talked about tigers and fairies. Basically, tigers are what are worst case scenarios and how to find the silver lining in those events and how to make them a little bit better, right? Because we want to make sure that we still have a nice experience, even if things don't go to plan. Also, fairies are um just things that could happen as a result of birth like tearing <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that i know that that's been a fear of mine but after we kind of talked about it i felt a little better she's like you could maybe only tear this much and i was like you're right it's also be i also feel very nervous about it just because when i was 17 i did watch an extremely vaginal delivery um and i saw when the doctor cut Right, and I was just like, oh, and then I remember the stitching very vividly, and that I remember was super impactful. So I think that's always where I've been like, holy smokes, right? So yeah, that being said, uh, yeah, 
it, it, it was really nice super and it was only us victor and i so that was really nice because we got asked all kinds of questions it was just us um so we had all the instructor um all the instructors attention for ourselves um and yeah it was super super pleasant like i victor and I actually had a really good time in the class i was a little nervous because i was like oh my god am i gonna be a little bored but i wasn't i was not bored at all I look forward to my labor project. Labor project is something that you can do during the first stage when the onset of contractions are coming on. It's not quite yet when you go to the hospital, but you're like, okay, you know, and like things are happening, like, well, you know, it's coming. <laughs> so, yeah. The other thing that we did the same day on Saturday was we went to the diaper class. Now you're probably thinking like a diaper class. Yes, so this is a class for how to use cloth diapers. We went through a, a company called or we're going through a company called sun sprouts i think that's what it's called sun sprouts and they're super nice we got to meet one of the owners his name's charles and, and then his wife Liliana. she wasn't there but i've spoken with her over email anyways super lovely couple it's a small local business in tucson that provides services to both tucson and phoenix super super wonderful i really like it actually and i re once i got to meet them as the well meet him Victor and I were like, yeah, you know, we're, we're excited. Oh, that's a button. We're excited, but yeah, so we learned how to put on a cloth diaper. I'll be doing a video on that too. Um, once we get them, we actually get our first delivery of cloth diapers on April 3rd. So we shall see. Um, so I'll do the video around then, but um, obviously they, they're flexible and if the baby comes in sooner or later, we just let them know when then arrangements are made as necessary and then pick up pickup starts and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but once I get all my stuff, I'll let you know exactly what, I, what we got and blah, blah, blah with the service entails and all that kind of stuff. But I'm really excited actually. I'm just kind of like, okay, I have nothing to compare it to and that's the beautiful thing. I have nothing to compare this to. So Victor and I are basically empty books where blank pages to be written on. As well as the baby, right? That's some, something that um, another mama has told me. And I've, um, I was specifically talking about Jasmine. Jasmine girl, she's uh, uh, my cousin-in-law. She's been super helpful because I remember she said, don't worry, like your baby's learning with you, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's true. Here I am thinking my baby's gonna judge the heck out of me. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna know I'm a first time mother. <laughs> yeah, no, we're both learning together. Which so yeah, so it's a learning experience for both of us, or for the three of us, Victor, I, Victor and I and the baby. So yeah, super excited. That was our weekend. It was nice. It was, I, I, like I said, it was actually like a lot of fun going through it. So I'm excited. We have another class coming up for lactation um, at the milk spot. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a good time, I'm sure, you know, learning how to feed the baby. Anyways, well, that's it for today. Um... You know, I'll keep you updated. We'll see how things go. I'm feeling great. Still doing exercise. I do feel a little lazy. Uh, but, you know, that's normal. Nah, that's normal. I was going to slow down eventually. This is kind of it now. Especially because now I don't have caffeine. So I'm like, but it's all good. All is well. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. And until next time, see ya.